Hi, I'm Aoife from Wicklow Willow and welcome to our wigwam decorating workshop. So, first thing we're going to do today is we're going to make a couple of decorations to decorate the wigwam behind us. So you have that made already and now we're going to make the decorations to make it look really, really good, okay? You see we've got our totems up on either side of it and that looks really well as well. They're really colourful and really bright in the garden, okay? So I'm going to show you the decorations we're going to make and we're going to hang some of these from our wigwam. So this is the first one we're going to make. It's made from some sticks that I found and some string. And we're going to show you this one here as well, which is some beads that are strung onto a piece of string as well. Okay, so these beads I have I had in the house. I had a big box of them. I said, you know what, I'll use those for the wigwam. So have a look around your house, try and find anything at all. It doesn't have to be beads, I mean it could be old wooden toys or something like that, or it could be bits of Lego, or it could be you know anything at all. It could be Christmas decorations if you wanted to. So it's about this workshop is about upcycling, reusing, looking at what we have and what we can use. Um, so not to go out and buy anything, just to try and have a look around and try and make do what we have, which is a nice thing to do, to, to ha repurpose stuff, okay, so that's the idea behind that. So the first one we're going to make is the stick one that I showed you there a minute ago. So the first thing we're going to need for that is we're going to need some scissors, a secateurs, a nice stick from the garden, okay, so something anywhere at all, just have a little look around, probably on the on the ground, maybe underneath some shrubs or underneath the tree you have, or maybe ask your, your, your mom or dad or somebody to help you to, maybe they might have some pruning that they have to do. So ask them maybe to prune a stick for you from one of the shrubs or trees in the garden. And you should, that should work just really, really perfectly, okay? So I have that, okay? And you're gonna need some string, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut my string. I'm gonna cut it about maybe 50 centimeters long. Now that's for the adults to do, so if you can use the scissors to cut your string, okay, and we have something this now. Now, I'm going to leave that there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our stick and we're going to make our first decoration, okay. So, for the adults, this is the secretaries and it's really sharp, so you guys are the ones who are using this, okay. So, just maybe the children can give a little bit of direction as to where they'd like it cut, but it's really sharp, so this is only for the grown-ups, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this down slightly. So I'm just going to take off these kind of raggedy bits here, okay? So and I'm going to use all these nice little side branches that are coming off. Okay, I'm going to divide this into three or four, okay? So I'm going to cut in approximately 10 centimeter lengths, and I'm going to do that a few more times. Might even cut that one down slightly more. And we've got another interesting shape there, okay? And I'm going to take the top off this one as well, and I'm going to use these kind of interesting shapes. So when you when you look at these in the sunshine when they're hanging from your wigwam they're going to make really nice shadows on the ground. So I think if you recall from our totem workshop we were kind of talking about you know how patterns and shapes and shadows and stuff like that can be cast using objects with the sunlight shining through them and stuff like that. So it's really nice to have a look at that, have a look at the leaves in the garden to observe that, see how even when birds are flying over how we engage with nature and and our environment around us and how when we put something into that environment how it engages with the nature or the environment that you've put it into which is it's really really kind of nice idea i think okay so we're going to take the first stick and we're going to take our piece of string it's quite simple and we're just going to tie it at the bottom of the string we're using just a simple knot okay so you can do that and then we're going to do that another couple of times to make our decoration so just do it about halfway up and then again at the top and then you're kind of leaving a length of string I'll show you now so I've just tied that bit on there so put two on last one to go on just there so we've got kind of three kind of spaced out but if I can show you now they're kind of hanging towards the end part of the string if you know what I mean so this part here is longer than where the three pieces are hanging okay so you're going to use that to hang on your wigwam now in a few minutes I'll show you where we're going to put that but you can put it anywhere you want but I'll give you some ideas and some some suggestions around that okay so i'm going to leave that there okay for the minute now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to make this decoration okay so this is really simple it can it's as i said we were using toys so all we're going to do again is cut a piece of string and we're going to bead it up okay and we're going to have a nice kind of pendulum or a nice shaped kind of um sorry decoration there okay so another piece of string similar in length to the one we had already about 50 centimeters long you make it shorter if you want, or you can create them at different lengths, it's entirely up to you. Now, I have some beads here, so I've got some really nice colourful beads. And the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to, if they don't run away on me, I'm going to put one on. So I'm going to put this big, bright red one at the bottom, okay? So I'm going to bead through, or sorry, string through my bead like that, and I'm going to tie it on. Simple again, simple knot. So we're not using any glues or anything like that, we're just tying things together, okay? So first one on. 
and then after that any way at all so I'm going to put on a few beads here and just put them down over the strip so I'm going to divide up the colors and the shapes and I'm going to put them on like that okay there we go another one and we have our second decoration okay so that's our second decoration now I've made a few of them so I've made I think about 10 of the beads because I had a box of them as I said so I've got a whole load of them here that I'm going to hang on the wigwam now in a few minutes and you'll see that when it's all done and then I've made extra sticks as well so I have six or seven of these that I made up okay so it's up to you how many you make so I suppose depending on how many you're going to make you can you can pick how many sticks you need and, and how much string you need and that kind of thing okay so I've got my sticks and I have my beads okay so I have some fabric here as well because with the summer coming in and the sunshine shining I thought it would really look nice if we had some fabric on our wigwam okay and it can kind of flow in the breeze for us as well and it looks really really nice when it's put up okay so what I did was I had some fabric upstairs and it was in a big box I had it left over from a party we had a few years ago and I said okay well I'm going to rip this up into nice kind of strips okay so you can see I have different lengths and I have different colors so I have purple I have blue and I have yellow okay and I've ripped them up into different lengths they're not too thick and I'm going to use those to decorate my wigwam okay but you can use all sorts of stuff so you could use an old t-shirt that you really liked and if you're not wearing anymore maybe you can cut that up maybe it's really colorful and has like really cool pictures on it or something like that and you want to put that up or maybe you have some ribbons or some wool or pipe cleaners or just an old scarf maybe something like that that kind of thing so have a think about what you have around your house and then have a have a look and then take it out and then maybe you need to cut it up or you need to prepare it for the wigwam but again don't buy anything for it if you can if you can help it and just use what you have in the house okay so going from that now what we're going to do is I'm going to move this table out of the way and we're going to have a go decorating the wigwam okay so see you in a minute okay so we're going to decorate our wigwam now okay so the first thing I've done is I've cut a piece of string about three meters long okay so what we're going to do with this piece of string is we're going to tie it all the way around approximately here all the way around and we're going to use that then to hang our uh, fabric from okay so we're going to do that now right so we're going to start off at the door and i'm going to tie it on again we're just doing some knots we're not doing anything too fancy and we're going to tie it like this okay and we're going to go around each one of these so i've started off at a knot here and then i'm just going to loop it around and what this is going to do is it's just going to give us a little bit like a clothesline it's going to give us a clothesline to hang our nice pieces of fabric from and then we'll be able to watch them in the breeze and in the wind just kind of flutter around okay and you could tie any of your decorations on like this if you wanted to so it's kind of you're making or creating a place where you can hang from okay so you have some of your uprights and you'll be able to use those for decorating but you'll also be able to use this string as well so i've just looped it around and the reason why i've looped it around is just to stop it from falling down okay so it's a little bit tight not too tight and i'm going to loop that around there and i'm going to finish where i started just over here so i have that on okay and to finish that off i'm just going to tie a little knot and then it's done and then i'm going to use my scissors to give it a little trim just so we don't have any pieces of string loose or hanging out okay so i'll get my scissors now okay and i'm just going to trim that off and that's it there okay so now i've created a place for the hand, okay and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take some of this really colorful yellow yellow fabric and I'm going to start tying that on and again there's no real um, way of doing this that's particularly kind of complicated it's just tying on the string at the top with the at, or sorry using the top of the fabric and just a knot like that so it's like a simple knot that just hangs down okay and we're going to do that every second one maybe with the yellow because I don't have as many yellows and as well as that it kind of breaks up the color and we'll have maybe yellow purple blue all at different places all the way around okay so i've got some of my yellow on there and i'm gonna go and get another one over here so, okay so it's looking good already okay so i'm gonna go to some purple next so you might need i've got a really long piece of purple that i'm going to use for the door as well so i've got some short ones and a really long one okay so here we go nice purple one 
you can really see how it really lets the willow stand out okay so it's really vibrant and i really like the way even these little kind of tufts of fabric come up over the top and we've got another one here and it goes around it so i've got one more color i'm going to put on in a minute and that's the blue and i think i'll put maybe one every second place so i'm just making this up as i go along and i'll put a purple one there in the middle as well so that would look good so it's whatever way you want to decorate it okay it's up to you entirely so let your imaginations go wild okay now we have some nice blue ones here as well so if you remember we put some clouds and some sky on our totem pole didn't we so i like to think of the blue as a kind of reflection of the sky in our totem pole so we have blue in our totem pole and we have blue in our wigwam and it's all about kind of celebrating the summer and sunshine and all the nice things that we do over the summertime okay so maybe as you're making your wigwam you could be thinking about all the special things that you do during the summer that you don't do during the winter okay so i think i'll put on one more blue one okay and then we'll go for decorating the door okay so another blue one on there now it's starting to look pretty cool isn't it now i have a really long purple piece here okay so if you don't have a really long piece of fabric you can get several pieces of fabric and tie them together in knots so you can see here i had two long pieces and i just tied it together in a knot okay so you can do that it's no problem or maybe you have an old scarf or something like that or a couple of old scarves that you could use and you could tie them together okay so i'm going to use this to outline our door frame so we have our door that comes up here so i'm going to have a look at doing that so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take the end of this and i'm going to tie it down the bottom okay so i'm going to tie it down here at the very bottom going to give it a double tie like that just to stop it from slipping off okay and that's nice and tight i'm going to roll this into a ball to make it a little bit easier so we can wrap it around the door so now i'm good to go so i'm going to twist it around this is coming up off a bit but just to kind of get it tight when you're starting off and have that nice oh this one here so that's a little bit loose so going to tighten that up a bit before I get going so I didn't tie my my knot tight enough but you make sure to tie yours tight enough so that it doesn't slip like that okay and then I'm just going to twist it around and you can twist it around any way you want you can cross it over or you can just do as I'm doing all the way up so what I'm doing is I'm following where the door is so that's to make sure people know that this is our door and this is the way in then again, if you've got any smaller children in the house, they're not really going to pay any attention to that. They're probably just going to run in and out of your wigwam, but that's okay. So you can see the way it's coming down. And I've got my knot there, one side. You can leave that around the back of it if you want. And I'm going to bring it all the way down here. Yeah, I'm nearly there now. So this has gone a bit thin on me. So I'm just going to try and make it a little bit thicker okay and bring it all the way down so the next thing i'm going to do i think when i finish this is i'm going to show you how to hang some of the beads and the wooden decorations that we made on okay and then you can have a think about what way you're going to decorate yours and you can go and do that okay so i'm going to give a little knot down the bottom again give it a tie stop it slipping this time i'm going to make it tighter and tie it again just so it doesn't slip okay I'm going to tuck that in the hole there okay so we've got our door on and we have our fabric on okay so we're going to get some of the decorations we made and hang them on so here is one of these ones and what i'm going to do is so you're going to need to get a little bit of help maybe from your mom or dad with this or the adults is helping you and i'm going to bring it down like that so maybe if 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 somebody tall can pull this down not too hard and then tie this on the end so again just a knot okay i'm just tying on the beads to the end and what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a few of them so on each end of these i'm going to tie something so i'm just going to let that off there and we've got our beads on okay 
No, I'm gonna put some of the sticks on. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna take this one here. And again, just use the string to knot it on. Okay, so just a little simple knot and then let it off. Okay, so we're gonna give each of those rods a decoration on the top. Now, I'm gonna also buy something around the middle part of the wigwam here. I've forgotten about it. So we have a cable right here, we're just holding it all together. Might be nice to cover that up. So I'm gonna get a piece of purple fabric and I'm going to just tie it around like this. Okay. And just give it a little tie and a little knot at the back. And we've got the cable tie covered. Okay. So I'm going to tie on the rest of these decorations and you'll see when it's finished. So have a good think about how you're going to decorate yours. Sit down, maybe, you know, with a few people, put the heads together get all the bits and pieces out of the house, make your decorations and go mad. Decorate it whatever way you want, okay? Thank you. See you again soon. Bye-bye.